What's going on you guys? It's Scott from Fly Rides. I am out at the Reesen Mueller production headquarters today. I am at an industry exclusive event. Reesen Mueller is allowing me to give you guys an inside look into what the Reesen Mueller production facilities are like, how they do things around here. We'll have a couple interviews as well with some of the, uh, the team out here. It's a beautiful environment out here. Very, very cool. I'm super stoked to show you guys. Like this video, subscribe to this channel so you can get the best of Reesen Mueller coverage. All right, let's check out this tour. So this was such a cool opportunity, you guys. You can tell walking into the Reese and Mueller headquarters just how important their own personal history is, where they've been, where they're going. They have their birdie bike set up as a museum to show kind of where they started. So that is their original Eurobike booth with that bike, and that was kind of their groundbreaking way into the business is these birdie bikes. They also have an organic, locally sourced coffee shop where their employees can sit, take a load off, have a cappuccino, talk to each other, all for like a euro. Uh, it was crazy cheap. Very, very nice and uh, just a nice kind of community building space. You can tell that it's important to this company that their employees are happy and that people have a place to kind of meet and gather. My name is Felix. Um, I worked for Riesa Müller since uh, December 2016. Worked in the front desk first and then when we moved to Mühltal um, they asked me if I wanted to do the, the cafe. So and then I, I need to think a bit but uh, then I said yes. Yeah, also, so I take my kids to bike every day uh, with, with a bike to the kindergarten every day. Um, we also sold our second car when I started for uh, working for Riesen Müller because there was no necess necessity for the car anymore. Uh, actually, during the week we don't ride, uh, drive the car at, at any point. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't see the sense in, ri in ri uh, driving the car during the week because we need to go in the si into the city. You don't have any parking spaces. There's traffic jam into the city and with a bike you just go by. It's so nice. I like the spirit. I also like the car leagues. Yeah. Um, I also, I'm a bike person, so um, it's really nice to have uh, bikes around all the time. Makes me happy. <laughs> and um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's just nice working for Riesen Müller. Yeah, so good, good, yeah, good community actually. So that's your first look at what it's like to work for Riesen Mueller. But let's talk a little bit more about how your bike is built. A stat that I thought was so cool is that 35 different Riesen Mueller employees are helping build this bike individually. So they are hand building it and uh, they have an assembly line that's specific to Riesen Mueller. No other company has it. It was designed for them so that they can work through the process as a team. Everybody has their role in making your individual bike happen. It's an incredible group mind situation, and I'm going to let my favorite new expat, Mike, who moved from Texas to work for Reason Mueller in their factory, uh, tell you a little bit about how it relates to building up the most complicated bike, uh, the Load Series. Because uh, everybody helps each other here, everybody works for each other here. Um, a lot of people need, a, need some help, and a lot of people need some help where, not, where they, somebody knows what they're doing. They're yeah, yeah. How to do it the best. Um, work on the details. And details become incredibly important when you realize that, of course, these are premium bikes and premium customers expect a certain level of quality, but also they are attempting to be a zero waste company. Part of it is environmental. Um, they're a very environmentally friendly company, but it also in the long term is going to save customers money. If they're not wasting product, then it's going to be easier for them to keep costs down. So essentially, this is why it can take some time for your bike to come in once it's been ordered. Unless a shop knows a bike is going to be popular, and so they pre-order a couple, um, Riesen Mueller does not have a lot of the products because uh, it would just be wasteful, essentially, to have them in stock and not use them, potentially. For instance, they have this machine that essentially you would put in if you were to work at Riesen Mueller, the bike you're building, and it would give you the exact amount of hardware necessary to build the bike. Then, the second that bike is finished, it is on a truck and on its way to you.
I also want to point out what a massive production this all is. And it's not the size of the production that is the impressive thing. What's impressive is that Reese & Mueller has posted these massive amounts of growth and kept their product handmade, premium, and top of the line. The way they've done this, uh, Marcus Reese was explaining to me, is by partnering with companies that are willing to work with them to make products specific to Reese and Mueller bikes. Uh, I think the example that stands out the most is uh, when they were designing the bikes, they knew they needed a tire that was going to be more hefty. So they partnered with Schwalbe because they were willing to make a specific tire for Reese and Mueller that was going to last longer and make sure that the bikes were top of the line. Of course, they partner with Bosch as well, which has a long tradition of being a long-lasting, easy-to-use motor. And you can tell it's important to Heiko and Marcus that these products last a long time because they use them. I was incredibly impressed to see that Heiko Mueller uses a load bike that was built years ago now. Um, didn't feel the need to upgrade uh, with the model year or anything like that. I just thought it was really impressive that they stand by their products that much. And it's not just Heiko and Marcus who are using these bikes on a daily basis. About 50% of Reese and Mueller's employees actually use these bikes every day. So let's break into that a little bit more with Jorg. We're standing in front of uh, over 50% of the workforce here bikes into work on Reese and Mueller bikes every single day, which I think is so cool. Like, can yeah. you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. So uh, first of all, uh, it, it is important that um, you and other dealer, dealers and media are coming to us and visit us and see that this culture is not just marketing. Yeah, it's yeah. not PR. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm the head of media relations. And yes, I'm saying, OK, we have a good <laughs> culture. But uh, I think it's important that people feel that this culture is real and the, that we are really are caring because about it is, each other. Like, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. Is. It totally and, is. And yeah. that's what it is. And uh, it's important for us to to show people that uh, we are caring about more than just building good bikes. We care about the environment and uh, the, the future. And um, we have the, the founders still on, on board here, Max and Heiko, what is important for us, for all of us here, because they have a, a good spirit and a good connection to each other. And they spread this connection to all of us. And um, it's good to know for whom you are working for. Senra knows every name of every uh, uh, um, employee here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are now 400, 450 people and she knows every name. This is important that you have a connection to each other. Yeah. And um, this is what it makes for me special. It's really impressive to walk around this company to see everybody interacting and just uh, how happy everybody is to be here. Also, the dedication that everybody has to the Reese and Mueller bikes. They are just happy to to be a part of, yeah. of, of this company and to to, to feel um, that is it is more to just uh, more, more than just building bikes. And actually, beyond this, you probably don't even know this. Beyond like uh, just loving the bikes and like, you know being passionate about them. Uh, you, I don't know if you heard this or not yet. Uh, we when we were walking to dinner after Eurobike, um, we had, we came upon a. Uh, a mom who had taken her kids on her load and she yeah. had a little bit of a spill she like you know she had fallen off everyone was okay but uh, eric and benedict actually went over and made sure there was nothing wrong with the bike they gave the bike like a full like run over okay. making sure that everything because it was a recent mueller bike and we happened to be with a group of recent mueller people yeah uh, so no it was just really cool to see like you know it, it's not just a you know a nine to five for these guys like it's a full-time like they're passionate about it nonstop, and just to the point where if they saw someone struggling with their Reese Mueller bike on the side of the road, they were going to go over to help them. So it's just really cool. It's not even just the internal culture, but the the way you guys present yourself to the community, and uh, yeah. you know how many riders ride locally here. Um, just seeing you know around the town uh, how many you know Reese Mueller bikes are just there. That is it's incredible. It's super cool to see. Yeah, I, I really just love the attitudes of the people who work there towards cycling, towards each other. It's just nice. It's a cool environment. Uh, here's one cool thing that I did want to point out. This is the top secret uh, development area. So no one's allowed back there, but I like that they have it kind of out in the production area to keep employees excited about it. Um, you know, that there's always something new coming, but uh, we can't see it until next September. This is cool as well. So this is uh, frames dropping in. So they only do a couple of these every hour because, of course, hand building bikes take some time. Uh, but basically, it's uh, how they get the frames are stored in a different area generally. And then this is on the production floor 
uh, and not a lot of people get to see this. So you're welcome, uh, but very, very cool setup. And again, this is just more of their state-of-the-art, completely proprietary um, assembly line. Uh, and you can see just how many people are making sure your bike is absolutely perfect. And a couple of them <laughs> waving in the background there. So I won't say too much about this next thing, but this is like a battery locker that Risa Mueller has that is essentially designed to keep everybody safe. It's separate from everything else. And it also is a way for them to fail safe every single battery. So basically, you know, Bosch batteries are 100% great. All Bosch does all day is, you know, find out what could go wrong with a battery or a motor and then fix it. But Risa Mueller goes another step further where they're actually testing the batteries at their location as well. I was also very lucky to get to watch a load bike being packaged. Um, again, these bikes are really Risa Mueller's kind of bread and butter right now, especially in Europe. Um, so it was very cool to see how they uh, work on these bikes. Basically, what you're going to see is just a very dialed in process. Like they have everything really figured out here. It's super cool. They've even figured out a way to keep the packaging pretty sustainable. The whole process is, it's just in line with what Risa Mueller, you know, wants. It's uh, safe for the employees. Um, they have the team building, it's, uh, and it's environmentally friendly. So they're not using, like, a crazy amount of packing material because the bikes are fully built. So if you've gotten a Risa Mueller bike, you probably know this, but those bikes do come fully built, ready to go. And that's one of the, I mean, the coolest things about Risa Mueller is that they found a way to send these bikes to you fully assembled. And honestly, we have way less problems with damage on these ones, the way they package this fully assembled and almost like a minimalist style packaging and uh, than we do with other bikes. So really, really cool to see how it happens. Um, like this video, subscribe to this channel, you guys, if you want to see more content like this insider backstage looks. Coming up in a couple days, I will have an interview with the founders, a little bit more about the history behind Reese and Mueller and their perspective on the cycling industry, which is going to be a really great video. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you guys next time.